Well, after years of planning and fundraising, construction is now underway on a new state-of-the-art youth baseball complex for De Pere Baseball. Stacey Ingebrigtsen shows us how donations of time, talent, money, and materials are making the project possible. It's tonight's NBC 26 Cares. De Pere Baseball's more than $2 million expansion project includes the construction of Mulva Family Fields. As a nonprofit organization serving 1,500 youth, they're grateful for many community partners who are pitching in to up their game, including masonry students from NWTC. At Scray Hill Park, in the town of Ledgeview, are making progress on two new playing fields for De Pere Baseball. We wanted everything to be world class. There isn't another complex like this within 100 miles of here. Helping to make it top notch, masonry students from NWTC who are constructing four dugouts. Honestly, you learn a lot more out here than in the classroom. I mean, we get to build in the classroom, but you don't get to leave it up. In the classroom, we knock it down every day, so this is nice. For Trevor Leroy, pursuing a career in masonry with the goal of owning his own business is personal. Oh, it was my dad's dream, and then he passed away, so then I just wanted to keep going for it, and that's what's pushed me to go for it. From learning tool techniques to mixing mortar and laying cement block, this real worksite experience develops more than just the students' hands-on skills. Sometimes they don't come with communication skills, so they have a lot of fine-tuning to figure out exactly what their soft skills, and this is really helping out that way. Masonry instructor David Prize also teaches his students the importance of using their talents to give back to their community. In this case, their in-kind donation of labor is saving De Pere Baseball a lot of money. It's nice to just give back and then the kids can play out here and they're not going to have to pay a big fee at a sports place and it's just nice that it's going to stay up and anybody can come use it. Through Prize's connections in the industry, companies also gave building supplies at a discount or donation. We couldn't do this without having that community support uh, to really make this thing go. For this masonry class, there's a sense of pride. Maybe they feel not only just helping out, but they're also putting a stamp on something they're going to see forever. They can stand back and say, by the way, I built that. And it's a pretty good feeling just saying that. For Leroy, this field of dreams is a first step in realizing his father's dream. He'd be really proud and just see what I'm doing and see me following in his footsteps or trying to achieve goals and that, and he'd love it. 34 students are working on the project. They're building two dugouts this fall and the final two in the spring. Stacey Angepretzen, NBC 26.